Greetings, curious ones. The dungeon awaits the nightcomers, and for those who dare, I, Traegard, issue the challenge. But before we learn what happens next, I suppose you'll need a reminder of where we're up to. Well then, listen and learn. When last you joined us, Abdul's quest was very quickly laid to rest. A poor attempt to win my game. I fear the only chance of fame for these dim-witted Chester folks is getting parts on Hollyoaks. A new team's here now, just as well. Their leader is a girl called Mel. With Igneous, the score was two. Poor Festus, then, was feeling blue. With Mrs. Grimwald's magic aid, a dungeon well was duly made. Then Mel met Cedric down below. They soon were friends instead of foe. How long can Mel keep up her run? It's time the dungeon had its fun. Brilliant, Mel. Take a couple more steps forward. One more tiny one. Okay, stop there. A guy has appeared on the throne. It's Merlin. It's not! Congratulations, team. You have reached Merlin. Well, it's about time you got here, I must say. Welcome, Melanie. Now then, first things first. Spellcasting. V. I. M. There, that's perked you up, I must say. Now then, Mel, you've done well to come this far, but you will not survive the rest of this level without my magic, and that must be earned. Now then, I have two riddles for you. Are you ready? Yes. Good. Now then, I could be a tiger, deadly and fast. I could be a whale, docile and vast. I could be a nurse, but I won't make you well. I'm a saltwater fish, but which one can you tell? What? It's meant to be a fish, did he say? Ask him to repeat it, Mel. Can you repeat that, please? You want me to repeat it? How tiresome! I'm not sure I can remember it. Well, let's see. I could be a tiger, deadly and fast. I could be a whale, docile and vast. I could be a nurse, but I won't make you well. I am a saltwater fish, but which one? Can you tell? Well, my first thought was a mammal. Yeah, he was on about tigers and whales. They're both mammals. But a nurse? A nurse is a mammal. Well, yes, but that's hardly a... Well, anyway, he said it's a fish. Tigers and whales aren't fish. Nor are nurses. Yeah, that would be weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hang on, let me think about this. He specifically said a fish. A tug shark? Whale shark? Well, I've never heard of a nurse shark, but that could easily be a... Mel, say mammal. What? Yeah, say mammal. No! Mammal. You idiot! Falsehood. Shark was the truth I sought. What? I knew it was shark. What? Why didn't you tell us, Darren? Yeah, Darren. Here is the second. I lived here first, but now I'm rare. My fate should leave you in despair. My large grey cousin came to town, then nicked my nuts and settled down. Right, well, that's some sort of squirrel. But it's not a grey squirrel. The grey squirrel's its cousin. What other sorts of squirrels are there? Red. I don't know. i never seen any other sorts of squirrel. That's because they're practically extinct. It's a red squirrel. You what? Don't be stupid, Darren. Have you ever seen a red squirrel? Of course I haven't. Look, everyone knows it. I saw a black squirrel once. Did you? Yeah, when I was staying with my aunt in Letchworth. It was definitely a black squirrel. She said there was something living around there, but they're, like, really rare. That 
That must be it then. Okay, so shall I say black squirrel? No, Mel, it's definitely... Yeah, say that. Yeah, that. Black squirrel. Falsehood. Red squirrel was the truth I thought. Well, that's that then. Shut up, Darren. Well, I can't give you any magic, I'm afraid. But my best wishes go with you. Farewell. Best wishes, he says. <laughs> Wonderful. That will help us no end. Right. Mel, walk forward a bit. Now turn left. Walk forward. Take a small step to the right. Keep walking forward. Stop. Turn right, Mel. Now walk forwards. Yeah, walk forwards. Where am I? You're at the top of some steps going down into a room with a table. But there's like a ghost or something. Well, team, you appear to have reached the level 2 clue room. But it is not quite deserted. A cavern wraith is on guard, and it is having a devastating effect on your life force. You must use magic, but of course, you haven't any. <laughs> Nasty! Foolish children, you should have listened to Darren, shouldn't you? Those who blunder about level two without Merlin's magic to aid them are ever likely to fail, so... Spell casting. D-I-S-M-I-S-S -S. Farewell, Mel, Kelly, Simone, and Darren. I'm sure there'll be a warm welcome for you back in London, despite your less than capital performance here. On your way now, while I and my dungeon prepare for the next band of would-be heroes, enter Stranger. Who dares the dungeon next? Aiden Caribou. You know the rules, Aiden. Each knight errant must have three to aid him. Call your friends across time and call loudly. Joseph, Lenny, Kyle. Greetings! Who guides this dungeoneer? Joseph Dudley. Lenny Ross. Kyle Perry. And where do you all come from, Aiden? Eh, uh, from Birmingham. But I'm originally from Brisbane, Australia. Mmm, I'd never have guessed. Very well, your challenge is accepted. Aiden, here is the helmet of justice which blinds you to the way ahead. Here the knapsack for food to feed your life force. Two objects may you carry at any one time, and remember, the only way is onwards. There is no turning back. Turn now, Aiden. Face the dungeon door, and step boldly forwards. Where am I? You're in a blue room with five doors on the wall in front of you. They've got the numbers one to five like printed above them. There's a girl, I suppose, standing in the middle of the room. Is that a trap door she's standing on? Yes, I think so. Hello, Dungeoneer! My name's Gretel. What's your name? Good day, I'm Aiden. Aiden? Oh my, that is a peculiar name. Oh dear, Aiden, if you continue on this path then something horrid is bound to happen to you sooner or later. Doesn't that worry you? I don't know. Not too much. Goodness, Aiden, you are brave. Well, I suppose I might be able to help you delay your icky demise, at least for a little while. Listen carefully. Four of these silly doors will lead you to your doom. You simply have to pick the right one, or you'll be in bits in no time. Remember, if you go through an odd number, then you'll surely come undone. And if that leaves you... With a choice of two, you should take the door closer to one.
Sounds like door two to me, guys. Yes, Aiden, I think you're right. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Oh dear, I wish I could do more to help you, Aiden. The dungeon is such a dangerous place full of horrid monsters and sneaky traps. You really must watch where you step because you never know when something's going to... Ah! Crikey, what happened? Um, well, the trap door just opened. And she fell through it? I wouldn't worry unduly, team. Gretel is a lot tougher than she looks. In any case, there's nothing you can do to help her at the moment, so I suggest you see about getting Aiden safely on his way. Are we going for door two? Yes. Okay, Aiden, side step to your left. Again. Again. Walk forwards. Stop. Step to your right a bit. One more step. And forwards. Where am I? You're in a pinkish room and there's a giant scorpion. It keeps on swinging its tail across the path. You'd best tread cautiously here, Aiden. This guardian may not quite exist, at least in your terms, but it could still destroy you if it achieves contact. And agility is called for. Side step right, Aiden. Two more. Good. Now, shuffle forward and... Stop! Am I in front of the sail? Yeah, so when we say go, run forward. Go. Great, well done. Side step right a bit and run forward. Where am I? Well, it's a grey room with, like, coloured squares on the floor, and there's a table quite close to you on your right. Yes, I can see it. Walk over to it. Go round the back and tell us what's on there. Okay, there's a vase of flowers, a key, and a kind of jar on here. The jar has a label. It says stealth. Plenty here to catch the eye, team. But first things first, your life force energy is very low. Is there any food on the table, Aiden? Oh yeah, there's a banana. Put it in your knapsack. I am Granitas of Legend. Touch nothing more until you have faced me, puny one. I alone will judge your worthiness to proceed. Fail to please me and I feed on you. Ah, uh, well, they do say there's no such thing as a free lunch, and Granitas is always one to prove them right. Listen very carefully, team. I have three riddles, and here is the first. I fly at night on silent wings. I feast on tiny furry things. My head can turn three quarters round. I sometimes make a hooting sound. What am I? It's got to be an owl, hasn't it, guys? Yes, definitely. Yeah, say owl. Owl. Truth accepted. Here is my second. You sometimes see me at the beach. I'll sting you if you're within reach. I cause it, but I can't feel pain. Because I haven't got a brain. What am I? It couldn't be a stingray, could it? I don't think so, Aiden. Stingrays are fish. Fish have brains. It's got to be some sort of fish, though, hasn't it? Ah, jellyfish. It's not really a fish, but... Yes. Say jellyfish, Aiden. Jellyfish. Truth accepted. Here is my third. I can swim as well as fly. My oily feathers keep me dry. You'll seldom meet me on the sea. Bend down low, you're doing me. What am I? Sounds like a water bird of some kind. 
It could be something like a duck, or a swan, or a goose. Well, the only one of those that means bending down low is duck, isn't it? So it must be duck. Yeah, say duck, Aiden. Duck. Truth accepted. Three is the score. You may no more. Your quest is to free the maid. She has fallen into the deepest depths, and now a being of pure evil has her in his clutches. Fragrant blooms will lift a dour mood. The first step is the answer to my final riddle. The dark. Remember, team, a perfect score means you may command him, and he must answer. I command you. Very well. The doors ahead are not locked by any normal means. Now, rock I was, and rock I become. <laughs> Well, I guess we need the flowers. They don't smell particularly fragrant to me, but still. Yes, take those, and leave the key, because he said something about the doors not being locked normally. Yes, so take the jar of stealth, as well as the flowers. Right, I've got them. Okay, turn about 260 degrees right. 260 degrees, mate? Yes, not quite three quarters of a turn. You can't turn left because the table's in the way. That's right. Great. Now walk forwards in a straight line. Like this. Perfect. Aiden seems to have popped up in a dwarf tunnel team. Keep moving, Aiden, and don't hang around. I've detected footsteps behind you, and I think they're getting closer. Where am I? It's a cave, and you're on a ledge, on, and to the left of you is what looks like a giant. Blooming neck, it's a dwarf. I do like a good old tasty dwarf every now and then, washed down with a bit of dungeon juice, eh <laughs> eh. What is your business here, dwarf? Morning, team. The giant may not have two brain cells to rub together, but I'm sure he could easily overpower Aiden. I'm not a dwarf. Tell him you're a dungeoneer. I'm a dungeoneer and I'm on a quest to free a maid. Are you sure? You look mighty like a dwarf to me. Eh, I might be short, but I'm a human. Oh, alright then. Well, human or not, you still look tasty to me. Quickly, tell him you're not. Trust me. I'm not your cup of tea, mate. I bet you I taste horrible. Do you think I'm stupid? Well... Don't answer that, Aiden! You look pretty delicious to me. What have we got? Flowers. But I don't think... Stealth! Open the jar of stealth, Aiden. Alright. Eh? Where have you gone? Well done, team. It appears that Aiden has become, well, partly visible. It should be enough to avoid the giant's gaze, for I'm sure his eyesight is not as sharp as yours. Okay, Aiden. Walk forwards quickly. Stop. Sidestep left. Turn right slightly. And walk forwards quickly. Where am I? It's a bomb room, Aiden. Yes. Stay calm, team, and guide him quickly, for the fuse is running. Sidestep left, Aiden, and walk forwards quickly. Keep going, keep going. Stop. A small sidestep left and forwards. Where am I? It's a small kind of cave thing, and you're on a ledge. There's a woman sitting opposite you, and she doesn't look too happy. Draygard, I thought I told you last time one of you came blundering in that I don't appreciate visitors. Oh, why bother? I'm not feeling at my best. It is too tiresome to deal with blunderers at my usual health, but in this present state I simply can't be bothered. So please just shove off, intruder, and leave me. Oh dear. Lilith's foul mood seems to have been worsened by her current state. Deal with her carefully, Aiden.
Sorry to hear you're not feeling well, my lady. I'll throw you a bunch of flowers as my mark of sympathy. Hmm, so not all of you folk are foul-mouthed. I value your kindness, but I really don't have the energy to let you past. Oh, tell her about your quest. Please, my lady. I'm on a quest to free a maid, and I would really appreciate you allowing me to pass through just once. Besides, you won't get the flowers otherwise. Hmm, I suppose I can let you past. If I can muster the energy to muster the causeway, and I'm making no promises. Rock to rock, and stone to stone, span the pit, and cross the zone. Damn. Oh no! Rock to rock, and stone to stone, span the pit, and cross the zone. <laughs> yes, now bring yourself over to me. Walk forward, Aiden. Keep going. That's it. And hold out the flowers. Thank you. May I ask your name? Sure. My name is Aiden. I thank you for your kindness, Aiden. In return, I may as well gift you a small spell that's been knocking about here for ages. It's called sleep. Thank you. And before you go, the second step is the goose. Now, farewell, Aiden. The time, lady. I must say I'm impressed, Aiden. Not many have yet managed to tame Lilith. <laughs> anyway, Aiden, turn to your right. Stop! Now walk forward. Keep going. Stop. Just a small step to your left. And walk forwards. Ah, another dwarf tunnel team. Or perhaps it's the same one Aiden was in earlier. Well, you never can tell with my dungeon. Where am I? You're in a long corridor and there are two doors on either side of you. Warning, team. You have wandered into the great corridor of the catacombs. Make your exit quickly, for many undesirable things like to hang around in here. Which door do we take? Beware the mindless threat of a mechanical warrior. The left? The adventurous code said take the right door if we don't know. Oh yeah! Okay, walk forwards quickly, Aiden! Like this? Yeah, that's fine. Turn right and walk forwards quickly! He's right behind you! Where am I? You're in a green cave with a well in the top left corner, but it's being guided by a kind of viking. Real vikings don't have horns on their helmets? I don't know. I read in horrible histories they sometimes had horns for ceremonies. Oh, an intruder. Olaf thinks it's time for lootings. Yes, ha ha. What lootings you got for Olaf, huh? I haven't got anything left, guys. Troy, step into your- You must take action, team. There's no way past. Cast a spell. Spell casting. S L E E P. Oh, Olaf thinks it's time for the nappy. Well, that's one way to deal with Scandinavian tourists. And a particularly effective one, too, it seems. Waste no more time, team. The wellway is here and level two beckons. Side step left, Aiden. Walk forwards until you can see the well. Don't go to your right, or you'll kick the Viking! I can see the well now, guys. Ah, there's a bread roll on the rim. Put it in your knapsack. Okay, done that. Now go up the steps and down the well. You're in a blue cave with a sort of raised platform just beside you. There's a door to your right, so... Steer right where you are, you despicable Campbell dog. I bet you thought you got clean away with it, didn't you? But no, Black McGrew's found you, hasn't he? What have you done with it, then? You'd best tell me, you cowardly knave. Or I'll grab you with my bare hands and toss you like a caber. Oh dear, it seems McGrew is still on the warpath. Caution, team. Well, where is it then? Look, mate. 
don't know what you're looking for, but I haven't got it, all right? So... That's no use playing the innocent with me, Campbell. As you well know, I'm looking for McLeamore. What's a Claymore? I don't know. Well, if you're not a thieving Campbell, you're certainly an ignorant Sassanach. Actually, I'm not really English, so... McLeamore is my sword, and I feel naked without it. I'm sure one of those dastardly Campbells has taken it. But I can see now that you're no Campbell. Maybe we should offer to help him find a sword. Yes, then he might help us. Okay, it so happens I'm about to make my way through to level 3. So maybe if I keep an eye out for your sword, you could help me w with my quest. By King Arthur's seat, you're a bold one, aren't you? Full of confidence to no doubt. Still, I won't deny I could do with a bit of help to search for my claymore. Will you really keep your eyes open for it, even after I accuse you of being a Campbell? Oh, what a shame. Temporal disruption has set in, and you passive ones will just have to wait to discover where Aiden's going to take you next. I know you'll be back to learn what happens, if you can muster the courage to return, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha!